for this video I will discuss on direct variation so there is direct variation whenever a situation produces pairs of numbers in which their ratio is constant so if we're going to have y is proportional to x y varies directly as x and y is directly proportional to x this just means that y is equal to k times x and k here is the constant of variation so let's have some examples here number one if y varies directly as x and y equals 8 when x is equal to 3 find the variation constant or the constant of variation and the equation of variation so to solve this one let's use first y equals k times x or y equals kx after having this one we're going to substitute the given values of y and x so that we can find the constant of variation so y is 18 when x is equal to 3 so substitute y with 18 then this is equal to k times x is equal to 3 so times 3 then if we're going to look for the value of k k here will be equal to 18 divided by 3 and that will be 6 so this is the variation constant or constant of variation and if we're going to find the equation of variation we will just substitute this one to this one so y is equal to k times x so the equation of variation will be y equals 6x so you can use this equation of variation in finding any values of y given a value of x number two if y varies directly as x and y equals 28 when x is equal to 7 find y when x is equal to 10 so to solve this one we're going to use the same in the first solution we're going to have y equals k times x so first given here that y is equal to 28 when x is equal to 7 so we'll just substitute that one in here so y is 28 when x is equal to 7 so in here finding the value of k k will be equal to 28 divided by 7 and that will be 4 so after having the value of k we're going to substitute this one to this one using the second given so y is equal to k here is 4 so 4 then the second value of x is 10 so 4 times 10 so y is equal to 40 so y will be equal to 40 when x is equal to 10 then another way of solving this one is using proportion so we can have x sub 1 is to y sub 1 equals x sub 2 is to y sub 2 you can use this one and what we're going to do is we'll just represent the given using these values here so we can have 28 you can have this one as y sub 1 x equals 7 this will be x sub 1 and this one will be x sub 2 and what we're going to do here is to find the value of y sub 2 so substituting the representations x sub 1 is 7 7 is to y sub 1 is 28 then equals x sub 2 is 10 then is to y sub 2 then product of the means equals product of the extremes so 7 times y sub 2 is 7 y sub 2 then 28 times 10 is 280 then dividing both sides by 7 we can have y sub 2 equals 280 divided by 7 that will be 40 
So we have the same answer from the first solution, which is also 40. So we can conclude that y is equal to 40 when x is equal to 10. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about this topic, please comment down below. And see you next time.